some water is left to cool in a glass beaker in an experiment to find the specific heat capacity of water. The temperature of water is taken at regular intervals. The temperature time graph for the cooling is shown in figure. A. Use the graph to find number 1. The temperature fall in the first 120 seconds. Number 2. The temperature fall in the second 120 seconds interval. At the start of the experiment at time 0, the temperature was 60 degrees Celsius. After 120 seconds, the temperature is now 36 degrees Celsius. This means that in the first 120 seconds, the temperature has fallen by 60 minus 36. This equals 24 degrees Celsius. Let's see what happened in the second 120 second interval. And this is starting from 120 to 240 seconds. At 240 seconds, according to the graph, the temperature has fallen to 24. This means that in the second 120 seconds, starting from 120 to 240, the temperature has fallen by 36 minus 24. This equals 12 degrees Celsius. Question B. Explain why these values are different. Anything that cools from a high temperature to the room temperature. Initially, the rate of cooling is fast due to the large temperature difference between the high temperature and the room temperature. As temperature goes down, the rate of cooling becomes slower because the temperature difference with the surround becomes smaller and the heat loss becomes less. So the answer will be at higher temperature, the temperature difference with the surround is greater causing greater rate of heat loss.